fuel for the fire that's going to add to the thunderstorm development for us later on today. So what's going on in Glasgow right now? Well, they're already starting to spark up uh, and that will be the first sign that we would be seeing of that thunderstorm activity as what's we're seeing over by the Devil's Lake region that keeps moving east. So that's not the concern. Beautiful skies though right now in Williston and I will say uh, for those to the east of Highway 83, there is a chance of maybe some smoke at the surface later on today. Very, very faint though. It's not the end all situation like we had a couple of weeks ago. And of course, even then that wasn't end all, but that, that was pretty bad. Uh, wind gusts right now all of a sudden 24 miles per hour. So we're getting ready to bring in some of that thunderstorm development. And as of right now, we now have a level one for anywhere along Highway 83. So that is now an increase since this morning. And you know why? It is because of the cloud cover. Uh, it's more like the lack of. I thought it was going to be a little bit cloudier holding down those temperatures. But since that sun came out, we now have more instability in the atmosphere. In addition to the south winds, that's bringing in our temperatures. That's bringing in a higher dew points. So there's the magic we need for that thunderstorm activity to develop. So having said that, really by four, clock now. I think we're pushing back our time frame. We're going to start to see them spark up past Williston Dickinson. So I'm sorry you might stay dry from this as those cells might develop ahead of you. Uh, but as we go through seven o'clock, we have a nice line coming through. That is our shortwave trough right now. So it's way back in eastern Montana. And so it, it's going to quickly slide towards us and continue to bring us those rain chances. So by seven, nine o'clock, you can see where that black line is. That's our trough. Those showers and storms keep moving towards the southeast. We should be okay for us into the overnight hours. 55 to 60 degrees, 80 degrees again tomorrow, and today is our best chance of uh, thunderstorms versus tomorrow, where we're going to keep that to a minimal, but we're still not going to rule it out. So level one brings us to Minot, Bismarck, even Dickinson now, as well as anywhere along that North and South Dakota border all the way until we get to the north of Aberdeen. That's kind of going to be that cutoff. Uh, then we talk about tomorrow because we're lacking less ingredients there. Uh, that's where we're going to see no severe storms as well, unless you're traveling to Minneapolis where there is a a level two. So for today's big threat, quarter size tail or about one inch in diameter as well as 60 mile per hour wind gusts. We turn to tomorrow. Temperatures bump it up a little bit into those lower 80s. We keep it into our Thursday because of a passing cold front. That cold front could bring in another round of smoke for us for everyone. We'll see how long it lasts, but I don't think it's going to last too long because of the different changes in air masses that we will be seeing. Not a whole lot of rain associated with this where we have those thunderstorms embedded within the forecast. Absolutely, we could see some heavier pockets, maybe about three quarters to one inch of rainfall. But as we've all heard, the story of the heat is down in Texas. Well, this jet stream will slowly be pulsing towards the north, and that's going to bring in some warmer temperatures for us. Not as hot as Texas, but Krista, it's coming for us as we go into our Saturday and Sunday. But even then, it's right where they should be. So we'll keep the heat in Texas, even though some of it is making its way here. Yes, it looks like a wonderful forecast for the 4th of July. Lots oh. of people on the river and out camping. Oh, big fan of that. Yep, lots of sunshine with that.